Hey YouTube Nation, this is Mr. Nord14, and today I'm going to talk about the Blink XT Home Security System. Now, I'm not going to do a review because I've done many reviews on this system. Please uh, go to my page, check them out. But today I'm going to talk about an upgrade that Blink just did about a week ago. And it basically deals with Activity Zones. So if you don't know what an Activity Zone is, it basically, if you look at my front door here, what it's going to do is activity zones basically looks at the picture that the front door is looking at and it puts it in grids and those grids you can either say hey focus on this area or don't focus on this area basically by checking the squares okay and I'm going to show you that in just a minute so you can get a visual but to me this is a game changer because when I did my other reviews, I can only say that Blink is a home monitoring system. I can never say it's a home security system. I couldn't tell people that it will protect your personals, it will protect your home, it will protect your family. I would also always say get another option to work with the Blink system just in case. But with this update of Activity Zones, Basically, I can say Blink is now a home security system. So let's check it out so you can see what I mean. Okay, so as you see here, you have activity zones. Yes, it's in the beta right now. And like I said, I've been testing it out for a week. Okay, and the one thing I can say is that I've had my unit for over two years. So basically, to avoid false alarms, as you can see, I would, you have to, you had to uh, mess with the re-trigger time, the sensitivity, and the clip link. And so I found out if I did my re-trigger time at 19 seconds, my sensitivity, at it was way below that. It was like 2 and 3 I would use. Like 3 during the day, two, 2 at night, or 2 during the day and 3 at night so that I wouldn't get any false alarms. And then clip length, I got about it on 20 seconds. Now, a lot of people get the Blink system and use the default seconds but. Uh, settings because they're worried about the two-year battery life. I'm telling you right now, change the retigger time, the sensitivity, and the clip length because it's going to help you better uh, manage your system as far as false alarms. And at the same time, any clip length below 15 and 20 seconds is not good. You're basically going to still get robbed and not know who robbed you. Okay, because usually the clip link is set for like five seconds for the default settings. You have to go over the five seconds. You have to go between 15 and 20 seconds. And I've noticed that if you use the between 15 and 20 seconds, you still get the two-year battery life. Okay, because I've already gotten a two-year battery life. I just changed my batteries this August. That was two years from the date I got my system. And the two years, you know from when I got the XT cameras for the outside. So I can say you get two years battery life. So please mess with the retrigger time, the sensitivity and the clip, clip link because that's going to better help you with your, your security system here. Okay, so let's go back to activity zones. Let me tell you why this is the game changer and that now I say this is a home security system and not a home monitoring system. As you can see, it puts everything in grids. Okay, the problem I was having with my front door is that I would get cars from the street on the left and cars on the street from that middle block there. Okay, and that would always give me false alarms. So I would have to set my settings to two during the day and three at night. So when a person walked up, they would pretty much have to walk up to my, you know, close to my porch before it would start recording. Okay, but that's just some of the things you had to do before you had this. Now I have my sensitivity all the way up to four. So as soon as they touch that walkway, I'm recording or any area that I have open. If somebody touches it, bam, it's recording. So that is great. Let me tell you. And I had zero false alarms since they added these activity zones. Zero false alarms. So along with the tweaking I did with my trigger time, sensitivity, and clip length added to the activity zones, basically, like I said, any zones, any cameras I have around my home, I do not have any false alarms and haven't had any this week. Okay, so let's look again so we can get a better look at the activity zones if we look at uh, my patio, back of my house. 
Now, what's going on here is that uh, if you look at the patio, let's go back here, you'll see I have a fan. You probably can't see it in this picture, but I have a fan. And anytime the wind blows and them blades start moving, sometimes it sets off the security system and I get false alarms. But with the activity zones, I can just check out that whole top area. So now it doesn't matter if the wind is blowing and the fans are moving. I'm not going to get any, any false alarms and I haven't. You know, this whole week, and the wind's been blowing and the blades been turning. I even went out there just to turn it on, just to see if it would go off, and it didn't. So, again, this is a game changer for me to say that this is no longer a home monitoring system. This is a security system, and it will protect your, your family and your belongings now with this update. Now, I know I'm only a week into it and everything but let me tell you it's amazing so let's look at the side of my house here and and what's going on so basically I, I blocked off this middle gray section and everything to the right and also just some areas to the left because it was just nothing but you know the siding of my house so there was no need for the cameras to focus on that so the reason why I got that top middle to the right here is because basically there is a road and it's like probably 200 to 300 feet away but the security system would catch any car truck or tractor or anything that was going down that road and it would go off it didn't matter so now that i've had the activity zones anything going down that road back there it does not pick up now i got it off to the right because my neighbor comes in and out of his 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 fence and I don't want it going off every time he does that it doesn't go off anymore anytime he comes out him and his dog as long as they stay on the right side of where he lives at and he doesn't go on my property it doesn't go off okay so like I said that to me is a game changer a straight game changer because now half the problem that was wrong with people not getting the two-year battery life was the false alarms but if you're not getting the false alarms that's going to up the chance that you get the two-year battery life that was promised and like i said i got the two-year battery life regardless okay and like i said i've had my system for over over two years and you know i've been tweaking it working with it and everything like that and so to me this update is basically the game changer so I have to tip my hat to uh, the blink engineers for doing this all I ask for is one more thing I don't know if they can do it but it would take this system to a whole new level if they could have instant record or instant view and it could record at the same time now I don't know if that's possible because of the chip they use and it, you know it's all about energy conserving energy so that you can get two years but if they did that this system would be the best system on the market because not only would you get two years battery life it's wireless you can move your cameras anywhere anywhere you get good reception with the Wi-Fi and with the sync module okay you're going to be able to move your cameras it's going to be wireless no wires will hold you to where you can put the cameras you can literally put these cameras anywhere and so uh, I have to tip my hat to them for what they've done but if they could just do that and give me you know that that instant on recording where it's like like ring does it will say hey this person's at your house right now you could communicate with them right now I don't need to communicate with people I don't need to yell at nobody and all that stuff all I need to be able to do is know that they buy my house so I can call the popo so basically folks fellas if y'all can do that I would say again this is the system to get I'm already saying that now that this is the system to get as far as price affordability battery life freedom of movement and everything like that I'm happy right now 
what I'm asking for is just a bonus. If you guys can do that, then I would swear by your product. But I'm swearing now, so I don't need. Th don't think you need me to swear anymore. So that's my review on the Blink XT Home Security System. I hope you enjoyed it, Mr. Nor. Fourteen. Peace out.